Damn, you have nice breast and belly right there, woman. Oh, sorry. Hello there, guys. Welcome to Terra. Sorry, I was just admiring the environment here. Uh, because uh, it's awesome. It's awesome, to be honest. I just enjoy it. Like, be sure to have maxed out everything uh, because it's a grateful experience of the, uh, of the adventure. It's uh, especially because long, uh, like, distant. The distant environment it's much better than the close one. I know the grass and the mobs. I know it looks kind of chubby from my point of view, but the far distant environment is just awesome. Yeah, I just went through the game like we. I'm already level seven. I just sort out different things, and I just realized that uh, Terra Club. When you actually make an account, you receive different uh, uh, items to boost your level up, have amount, you know, increasing your uh, efficiency in leveling, do much faster, and, you know, enjoy the gameplay, and receive everything that you need, like uh, a small boost, let's say, for each new player in the game, and that will, you know, satisfy the player much easy, easy. and also, yeah, I went through the intro, sorry that I didn't share with this, with this uh, guys, I just check out and pretty much I just feel like it should have been like Dark Souls mechanism because due to the variety of the mobs it's obviously that it shows let's say like this one it shows what it will do like the attack that it will do and these kind of things and because but it was much awesome if they could have not implement these sort of things this sort of awareness but indeed they want to help casual players to actually get used to the combat mechanism and be aware of what the mob can do. And that's interesting. Like the dodge, it feels a little bit like Dark Souls. Like bam, dodge. Bam, again. Or maybe not. I wasn't aware of that. But yeah, it helps casual players to actually get used and avoid attacks due to variety of the mobs. But it should have been like... You know, Black Desert, let's say. I think that when you collect, uh, like, collecting information about the mob, and after, I don't know, killing, like, 50 of them, you're gonna see this thing. It would have to, it would have make the players much more, uh, pump it up about the, the mobs and the fighting experience, that to be aware where, where to, when to attack and when to dodge. But yeah, it's just like the quest of the moment. I have to clear all these creatures. Oh well, let's say just like kill terrified beast. I know the reason. I received two spells that are actually a nice combo, like this one. Which stuns the target and then I can use a shuriken. Bam, bam. And kill it. But obviously it's about timing. Probably that's why it, sh uh, it shares that uh, combat awareness, so you can uh, actually calculate your combos and do your, do your thing. Indeed, at the beginning it's slow paced, obviously, you can't, you can't judge this in the beginning. It's the beginning of the game, so yeah, the gameplay is, is slow as shit. Guys, mountain. <laughs> Welcome to my video, my friend. What are you doing? Guys, mountain. What is that? Guys. <laughs> Snack first, then work. I want to wish to Is someone there? Guys, mountain. Am prins dacă nu mai e, depinde pe ce realm, că ei au făcut ei mărci și ei au cam futut conturile. Adică eu nu mai am caracterul ăla de 3-7 sau cât aveam. Nu, eu l-am, trebuie să l-am. Dar ajungi pe Europa sau pe America? Europa. Ajungi pe America, mă. E greșit că pe America e mai bun că nu-i pay to win. Dar nici aici nu-i pay to win. Adică ce puțin nu mai e. M-am jucat o perioadă și am acolo care 
Si ca a fost si cand s-a dat free pe America Caracter uh. level maxim I don't like being alone So obviously guys is slow paced at the moment You can't judge me Just getting used again and just check the things But the questing is quite obvious because you have this quest helper Like nothing to actually have to dig about it Hmm? Hmm? Need and help? All this kind of jazz It's something way too easy Like the questing is supposed to be easy Like straight to the point Nothing to wonder about or What do I actually need to do now? Things like this. Ara is nowhere to be found. Oh my God, where is she? What can I tell you? Victory for Valkion. Here, gear, gear, weapon, new spell. Not my fault. Fine then. Goodbye. Everything that we need. The Hound Rush. Charge forward, decreasing speed for the next... Oh, nice. So we have a charge ability. Upgrade Whirlwind. I don't think it's actually a build. Like, build probably is based on the cliff. Because obviously you're going to have each spell. Each spell has their own, uh, you know, attributes co uh, and contribution. But the glyphs, it's actually like, which spell do you actually want to focus and become, you know, a deadly spell. Based on the situation. But each spell has their own attribute obviously. And you just need like to glyph up. Whether you actually feel more focusing. Like stunning or doing damage with a certain spell. You need, there are some builds for PvP to max out the efficiency. Which I'm gonna get used and learn about them. But yeah until that point we still have to like discover new spells. And also passive. Okay. Increase damage to multiple targets. Okay, that's a nice passive. What can I say? So probably where will gonna be one of the main spells that Slayers has Like a key damage AOE damage output Read Emu's note, okay Oh, that was a fast reading Okay, new swords and all this kind of jazz, more damage obviously, 76, wow, I'm already changing the gear, yeah, the stats are much fine, but isn't there like a character view, like where my items are, I don't remember which button, oh, P, it's on P, which means, which stands obviously for profile, the, it seems like the profile is similar, Nothing changed here. I don't know if they revamp Slayer or all this kind of jazz, but damn, I look like some sort of Lara Croft right now. Damn. That's a nice adventure equipment there, woman. What can I tell you? <laughs> Stop laughing. It's not funny. I'm trying to be serious in my videos. They need content, and by content I mean ass, tits, boobs, head, hair, I don't know, big swords. What? Give me the butt, the butt. Okay, what do we actually need to do? Cross Stone Road Bridge and look for Anya. First time I read Arya, and I was thinking about Arya Stark from uh, Game of Thrones. Okay, magic instructor, all this kind of jazz, probably here. Okay. Nope, not here. Yeah, I feel bad about it. Oh, okay, so that one. Still, is this supposed to be some sort of checkpoint? Oh, increasing my HP, that's good. But sitting at the campfire, you receive like bonus HP. I think the more you stay, the more you receive, which is good. Oh no, don't tell me she's attacked. Anya! Uh, it took way too much damage, but it's fine. But I shouldn't be greedy, like getting used to the, you know, combat, to avoid, to be aware. 
Because if I become way too greedy, that's not gonna be cool. It's kinda nice that they are neutral, because they are aware of you, but just in case you hit them, they are not, not simply attacking you. I love the ne neutral creatures. You see if I can Federation soldier. Aye aye, Captain. Victory for Valkion. Okay, since that we received some rings, why not? Why not implement them? Duh. Some an NPC Pargo? What? Probably there are some NPCs to enter the Temple of Tree. Okay. Another intro, a fight, like fighting the corruption. The tree of savior being affected. Defeat the Argon soldier. Are these the Argon soldier? Yeah. Wow, I missed. Dodge like a motherfucker, stun him and do a whirlwind. Nope, not today. Okay, let's see the third spell. Wow, nice charge. Even though I missed. But now I know what it does. Oh, they know how to dodge as well. They are pro soldiers. all the things even though most of them are so useless I'm not quite sure I need to read every item you know this is the this is the fun part of MMOs like new MMOs you have to read analyze and see what you have there it also shows you some combos like combo tips like what is much efficient to actually do at that point or maybe not. It's good that the dodging reaction is not affected by the combat. In by means, I mean, I already confirmed like two attacks. But in case I want to decide like dodging, it will cancel each combo upcoming strikes. Just for the sake to actually dodge it. Which is kind of nice. Okay, let's see the combo here. Like strike, nice, and then a uh, wind wheel. And I almost one shot him. That's nice. Like, it's good that it holds up tips and tricks. I don't know if I dodge it, but okay. Like, this knockout is good because you can combine your combos, do as much as possible damage because they have a. If you do normal attacks, they obviously attack you back much faster and you don't have time to actually do some combos like it's a double-edged sword like until he wakes up I definitely need to max output the damage ask about Anya and the Guardian In the Guardians. Okay. But which Guardians do I actually need? Huh. It's kind of... Oh, I see now on the mini-map. I mean on the map. It's kind of obvious. As I said, like it's impossible to actually not realize what to actually do. Only if you're dumb as fuck as me. But... Ah, your head hurts? 
poor guy. Just take some pills. So we, probably is the intro, so that's the reason why I actually don't find people at the moment here. I mean, the amount of players is not so big based on the realm, I guess. Defeat Argon. Okay, so I have to defeat these guys. Oh. Boom. That was a big crit. Yeah, obviously sometimes we have to auto-attack in order to build up MP. This time I was way too greedy. But sometimes you can get greedy because they sometimes drop uh, like health potions. Health orbs and build up back HP, the HP that you lost. Ow, that wasn't cool. Fair enough. Talk to depleted depleted guardian. Oh, so much easy work. Or I have to revive him. Yeah. Oh, another spell? Nice! Triumphant Shout. Instantly restore 100 MP. Your MP doesn't decay for 20 seconds. Whoa. So I can YOLO with my abilities. That's quite good. Passive. Increase knockout strike damage. That's cool. Okay, what's next? It's good that they implemented this Terra Club thing. I don't see the button that I have to press in order to actually mount, which is kind of lame by my way of treating this. Okay. So probably Terra is not so open a world. It's not so open a world as I thought. Okay, this sort of music, obviously, we're gonna have a big fight sooner or later. So I just, uh, this is it for the, for the first episode, guys. I just uh, gonna pretty much keep up and keep you up with the content. Just let me know in the comments see if you guys enjoyed my Terra gameplay. And in case you play Terra, just let me know if you're playing on EU. Just let me know gonna add you as a friend and we're gonna taste the adventure the motherfucking adventure now see you guys next time peace out <laughs>